past fatal heart impact, past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and past I back up my actions. Back on mass, grab reactions, jack attack with every word and act with class as they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce. I ain't lost, I'm finally loose. Pick a new so bird's juice. I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a peace now, y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember you're discreet now. Get ready for Alrighty. Hello, hello, everybody. This is Kiru Show here. And now, whenever we last left off with this series, we had Junto and Todoroki. Now, Todoroki was invited to Junto's town after a strange little thing started. Now, Todoroki, him being here, not only did he help to add on to the mystery of the situation, but he did at least help to somewhat solve it. Now, Deku has been made aware that there is a strange presence in his city. Inside of his city, there might be an organization able to use demon weapons, or possibly an actual living demon, organization here that does want Deku dead. He is not too sure. And the reason why he was given this weapon, he's pretty sure, is because he cannot hurt these people with it. Now, Deku, this all started after the Black Wolf Clan came to his city. So he's swapped out with the body double in order to protect them better and be around them more. Along with even trying to actually teach these kids proper combat with his own experiences. Now, with that being said, it has been three weeks. And Deku and his clones, they have encountered strange things. However, this organization, he's pretty sure, is everywhere. There might be people hiding in plain sight. And Deku, he cannot really trust a lot of people. He can only trust his allies, his friends, Todoroki, and from what he might be aware, the Black Wolf Clan. Anybody else is out of the question. Now. With that being said, it's been three weeks since this started. And we do actually currently have Deku. Who? He knows that some of the kids have been a bit antsy and lazing out a bit. Some of them have fallen out of their training. All because of the fact that they can't pick up real swords. And today, Deku, he has decided to at least let them use the training swords. And he's currently instructing them all about how to swing it as many of them are practicing with a up-to-down strike. And Deku, he does inform all of them that if they do feel like their hand positions are all unsteady, and if they do feel like the blade is leaning forwards too much, they need to move their second hand lower more, and hold on with a tighter grip and try to use more strength. These blades, or these weapons, are made to mimic the feeling of a real one in your hands even the weight, even if it is slightly off. Now, Deku does watch many of the kids go to move their hands down a bit more, and the blade it actually does go to come up some. <laughs> Interesting. Now, Deku does look towards Tesca, who she's at least currently reading a book about the subjects Deku has brought to this world. Now, he would go to walk over, as he does see that she's reading a book about fighting. Hmm? Exactly what is that? Hmm? Oh, Lord Junto, sorry. This is a manual, as you call it, correct? Yeah, it is. But we also do call it a book. If it teaches you about a subject, it is considered one of those. Oh, um, okay. Well, this training manual, as you call it, it does teach me about some things I'd never noticed about my own body and positioning. Hmm? Perfect. Yes, I believe that I might be able to learn some of this. Even putting it into practice is strange and challenging, but it is actually helping me some. I've noticed that my magic does feel somewhat more focused with these strikes. And it even does feel more powerful, if I do have to say so. Hmm? Well, that's good. 
The reason for that would possibly be because you're using your magic properly. And you're all going for a direct slash, meaning that none of it does get spread out or released in the wrong direction. Hmm? It means that your magical strikes, then none of them, they lose power traveling through the air because of the way you're using your technique. Oh, that sounds... Actually, that makes sense now. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Now, after about a few more minutes, Deku would inform the kids to put down their weapons. And that they all do need to at least begin for some more training. Now, Deku does put the kids through training today. Teaching them at least some small hand-to-hand -hand combat, and even how to stretch properly and get more flexible with their movements, along with even some of the basics of acrobatics and, well, hmm, I believe that would be about it. Now, we do actually have later that night. Deku, he just feels tired. He doesn't understand. Lately, it feels like something's going on. His sleeping, it's all messed up. He wakes up in the middle of the night and doesn't know why. He feels like there's something missing. Ah, oh, damn it. Now, Deku, he would go to bed that night, as he's still having trouble sleeping. However, he does feel a wave of, well, tiredness come over him. And he does actually go to close his eyes. Now, we do actually have where, about a few minutes later, he does go to wake up. As he does someone just look around the room. That's strange. He could have swore there was somebody else here. He thought he heard a footstep. No. He does actually go to try and shift around in bed. Or, well, while he's laying down on the floor. As he does feel something on him. Hmm? Ah, damn it. I swear. If this is who I think it is, it's going to be a bit of a problem. Deku does go to grab the cover of the of the blanket and go to pull it off. As he does look down to see somebody, who does look familiar. Uh, who the fuck are you? Hmm? Hi there. Now, Deku does go to at least bring his hands up and grab the skull by her shoulders, going to push her off of him a bit and ask exactly who is she. Oh my, come on, Junto. You're being a bit rude, aren't you? It's me, Eliza. Hmm? Eliza? That can't be. How are you... alive? I thought you were dead. Even then, how did you... Did you survive? No, this has to be a dream. That'll explain why you're... well... Not how I remember you. You're a lot more... developed. Like you're going to turn away. Oh, come on. It's just a dream. No need to worry about it so much. Her going to bring her hand out and grab onto Deku's cheek. As Deku does realize something. Her hand, it does feel warm, not cold. And, well, he does feel something strange. These strange emotions, they're bubbling to the surface. It's weird. He feels calm. He feels relaxed. They're going to turn his head back to her. As he does see her face. She's so... Well, just... Deku going to freeze for a second. Whenever, he does actually notice something quite different. Eliza, she had different color eyes. And this woman here, her eyes, they're not blue, they're green. Hmm? Now, Deku, he actually has to go to grab onto this woman's shoulders as he actually has to go to flip over. Him actually forcing her to the ground, asking her exactly who is she. <laughs> oh, come on now. Don't gotta be so rough there. I asked who you were. Deku going to at least manifest his sword. 
as he does going to bring it down as the person is going to bring their hands up. Okay, okay, fine. You caught me. <sighs> Surprised you saw through it, though. Most men don't. Hmm? Most men? Yes, yes. I believe you might know what I am. I was here to deliver a message, but... That's... Well, taste you do have. Your dreams, they're quite interesting. Hmm? My dreams? Why, yes. I'm a succubus, after all. A succubus? So why'd you take on her appearance? Hmm? Well, she seemed like someone interesting to you. A first love, maybe. A regret. Did you perhaps let her get away? Hmm? Or maybe you were a jealous lover. Could it be of that? <laughs> Listen, lady, you clearly don't know me as well as you think. Now I'll ask again, exactly why are you here? Okay, okay. I was going to come to this eventually. I just wanted to have some fun. I'm here to give you a bit of a message. A message? Yes. <sighs> the message is as such. You need to come with us. Hmm? I'm sorry. What? Yes. Come with us. I will take you to the person who gave me that order. And he'll decide what to do with you. Maybe you could join our ranks. And that will be interesting whenever we go to conquer this world. Hmm? Conquer? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. We already own most of this planet. Very few spaces, in fact, are out of our reach. If we go there, our armies would be spread too thin. So, if you would consider the areas outside of your borders to be outskirts, you could say the same goes for our own. This world's quite too large for our armies to take over. It would take <laughs> thousands of years, maybe. But it would be possible for us to take over the entire planet. In fact, we're still trying. Hmm? Okay. I know what you're talking about now. So, it was demons, wasn't it? Ding, 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 we have a winner. How would I give you a prize? I'll pass on that. Anyways. This man you're talking about. I have a few questions. Is he a demon as well? Yes, he is. In fact, he's someone you really shouldn't mess with. <laughs> sure he is. Ah, <sighs> anyways. I would like to know. What the hell are you doing in my city? Hmm? Oh, it was quite simple. A few years back, this area, it suddenly just stopped having souls come here, come out of the bodies every single hour of every single day. And, ooh, the last time there was a surge of souls, it was quite a bit. Hmm? I see. So is that what you're after? <laughs> no, no. We're after you. You don't belong here. <laughs> you're wrong about that. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. The commander, he's quite persistent. And he's really not a man you should mess with. Now, Deku does look down at this woman. As he does, go to at least stand back up. And get off of her. Ah, you need to get the hell out of my house. Hmm? Get out of my house, get out of my city. Tell your commander or whoever he is, I'm not going anywhere. If he wants to talk to me, talk in person. Otherwise, he's wasting my damn time. Now, the succubus that does look like Eliza does go to stand up on her feet. And she does go to at least turn towards the door, or turn, bleh, turn towards the window and go to walk out, informing him that this is not over. Now, as it does actually happen, you actually have more Deku, he does go to look around the room. 
him walking over to his pants and going to reach down to his pockets, grabbing the crystal as he does go to pour mana into it. Now, we do actually have the next morning, where Deku he has explained the situation to Todoroki, and he's even put the Black Wolf Clan on a bit of high alert. Now, with that being said, we do actually have where Deku, he's explained all to Todoroki. Last night he encountered a succubus that looked like somebody he used to know. Hmm? Really? A succubus? Yeah, that's the thing. The person they were impersonating, they've been dead for a while. Hmm? Really? Yeah, they died four years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. The person they were impersonating, she used to be someone I cared about. At least for a brief little bit of time. However, yeah. It surprised me, though. I didn't realize that that's... She would turn out to be such a beautiful one if she grew up. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, I knew her back whenever I was... What? Fifteen? Fourteen? And she didn't look like that either. It's... As if... She was able to live her life. I don't really know how else to explain it. She was quite a beautiful woman, I'll give her that. But she was still a bad person. So, exactly who was she to you? Hmm? Well, if I do have to put in perspective for you, the first person who I ever met when I came here. Hmm? You serious? Yes, Todoroki, I'm serious. Deku does say. Him sitting down and sipping some tea from a cup. As Todoroki, he does at least sit across from Deku. So, she was, what, the first person you cared about? No, she wasn't. Back when the world felt so little, the first place I woke up in, I apparently woke up in, in a river. It's where I ended up at at least. Almost drowned to death. So, she found me and helped me. Bandaged up my injuries and I started helping them out. It's kind of funny, in a way. I was only there for about a week. I still missed my... my... well... Family, we can call it. Hmm? Family? Yeah, Todoroki. My family, it's complicated. I missed the woman who raised me. And the man who I considered to be like a father. I don't really remember his face. He was there, yeah, but he wasn't. He worked himself to the bone to make sure I, well, me and my, the one who raised me, Inko, we had a nice life, but I never really saw him. Even now I can't really think of his face. However, I remember Inko's clearest day. Inko? Yeah. Inko, what was that name? Hmm? That name, what was it? Do you mean her last name? Yeah. I don't understand. Did you forget it? I think? But that shouldn't be possible with Total Recall. Right? That's very bad. Yeah. But... The short time I spent there, I helped their village. I tried hunting. I learned from an old man who I started to see as a friend. 
I learned how to use a bow. I learned how to pick up a sword. Never thought I'd ever use one, but I tried. <laughs> you should have seen me. This is pretty stupid. After a few days, I got a bit settled in. Me and Eliza felt comfortable around each other, and I thought I could at least make a living there as a farmer or something. But then bandits came and I was sold out. Hmm? What? Yeah. Bandits came to the village. Eliza's father, he gave me up as an offer. I'm a good, strong young man who, if I'm put to work, will be able to do anything. That's messed up. She didn't even try to stop it. She just turned her back to me. The place was still destroyed. It was still raided. It was still burned to the ground. And what do they have to show for it? People in cages and no land worth saving. Are you telling me she died in that battle? No, she didn't. I'm the one who killed her. What? You can't be serious. I am. Todoroki, she betrayed me. After everything I went through, I got my revenge. Those people were afraid to fight, but if we did, we could have beaten them. We outnumbered them, in at least five to one. But they were still just so scared. They hesitated. They were cowards. I was the only one willing to stand and fight. And they weren't. Now, Taroki does stare at Junto. This is his past, isn't it? This is real. This is genuine. He's not lying to him. I see. Well, to be fair, if I had the chance, I would kill the king. <laughs> Trust me. He died like a coward. I bet he did, but even then, it would give me peace of mind knowing that he, you know, I get it, it's revenge. Now, as these two are still talking to each other, at least expressing and going over certain, uh, well, information, somebody does walk into the dojo, and Dekabi does get to turn his head, as so does Todoroki, his eyes widening as he does use an ability to see the color of the man's soul purple. Now, Taroki does go to stand and summon his weapon. As Deku does have to go to stand and summon both of the blades he was given. Or, both of the blades he does have. And the man, he does just step forwards applauding both of them. Quite a heartfelt moment there, wasn't that? Who are you? Oh me. I'm nobody. However, back where I'm from, I'm quite the legend. Hmm? Now, Dekuki does go to rush forwards and attack the man. As Todoroki does go to try and open his mouth to tell Deku he sees purple. Now, Deku he does rush straight in. And, wasting no time, he does cut the man's head straight off. As Deku he does then go to turn around and throw the sword directly into the man's back. And stab him through the heart. Todoroki, he's quite confused. What the hell? Another purple. Deku going to step back up onto the, well, ledge or the walkway of the dojo. As he does tell Todoroki that that was pretty easy. Hmm? Okay, that's not right. There's gotta be more of them around here. We need to check, and Deku going to pull his sword out of the man's back. As something strange has happened. Deku, he smells smoke, and he does look down, as the man's head's back, along with the hole in his back is regenerating, the hand actually going to grab up the sword and directly onto the blade. As Deku's eyes do wipe, no. Now, Deku does go to at least move backwards, and he does tell Todoroki that this is bad. Hmm? Now. Todoroki does watch as the body does get a step up, or stand back up. 
And the man he does, does actually go to bring his hand up and crack his neck. Ah. Oh, decapitation and a heart attack. Really? <sighs> Those hurt. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed this part. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.